In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use nested if statements woo, to create an expiry alert. And I highly recommend if you know a little bit about if that you start to learn how to nest your if statements. And hopefully this video is going to show you exactly why that can be useful. So let's dive straight in. Now, in this example here, we have some invoice numbers and then we have the due date of those invoices. And maybe what we're trying to do is we're trying to find out the status of these invoices based on today's date. And what we want to say is that if the due date is in the past, then that invoice has expired. If the due date is coming up, so maybe within the next 30 days, it's going to be expiring soon. And if the invoice isn't due for over 30 days, then that's currently OK. Now, to do this, we need to use a combination of formulas. We need to use the today formula and we need to use nested if statements. Now, the reason why we need to use the today formula is because everything is basically based off of whatever today's day is. So in this cell B4, I'm going to use the today formula. And again, if you've never used this, it's a really useful little formula. It has no arguments. So we just simply type in today, open and close bracket, and that's just going to input today's date. And the cool thing about this formula is that it does automatically update. So if I was to open this spreadsheet tomorrow, this is going to show tomorrow's date as opposed to today's. So it means that everything is always based off of whatever the current day's date is. Again, my dog is trying to break down the door. I don't know if you could hear that. It's like crazy. Anyway, now that we have today's date, let's take a look at the formulas that we need to set up. Now, what I'm actually going to do here is insert another column. Remember, a quick way of doing this is Control Shift Plus, and we get a column in the middle there. And I'm just going to call this Days. Because the first calculation I want to do is I basically want to find out how these due dates relate to today's date. So I'm going to say B8 minus, and then we're going to have today's date. Now, I'm going to copy this down. So I want to lock cell B4. So let's press the F4 key, Control Enter. I'm going to copy this down. Now you can see I've got date formatting applied here. So I'm just going to change this to general so that I get the correct answer. So what does this mean? Well, if we take a look at the due date of this invoice, we can see that this is due on December the 10th, which is in three days time. That is correct. The next one is December the 11th, which is four days time. If we go down to here, we've got minus 31. So this invoice was due on November the 6th. So it's 31 days past due. That's what these minus figures mean. So now that we have these numbers in here, we can work out a status and we can assign a meaningful piece of text to the status. So we're going to go in and we're going to use if for this. Our first logical test. So my first logical test here is going to be if the days are less than zero, if that's true, then it means that this invoice has expired and we need to put that in quote marks, comma. Now, normally with an if statement, you would then go in with what you want your false statement to be if that logical test isn't true. But when it comes to nested if statements, we do if statements within other if statements because I need more than one in here. I'm currently saying if the value in cell C8 is less than zero, I want it to output the word expired because that invoice has expired. But I want a second condition that says if the value in cell C8 is less than or equal to 30, then that is, then that invoice is expiring soon. And for anything else, so if it's over 30 days, then that invoice is OK. So we can simply just add our false argument of OK on the end here. Now, remember, you need to close off as many brackets as you've opened. So for me, that is one, two, hit enter. And now I can copy this formula down and I should get the correct results. So you can see here anything that's greater than zero, but less than 30 is expiring soon. Anything that's less than zero, so anything with a minus, is expired. And then everything else that's above 30 days is 
OK. So very quickly there, just using nested ifs, we've managed to perform multiple logical tests to give us multiple different outputs. And we've done all that based off of the today's date that we have in cell B4. So that's a really useful calculation that can be applied in numerous different circumstances. Give it a go, try it out, see what you think. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, then smash that like button, even if you just enjoyed it a tiny bit. You know, it helps me out. Consider giving me a follow and I will see you in the next video.